Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about my Friday Night Magic. Um, and I skipped Friday Night Magic, which was a very bad decision, but I wanted to hang out with friends. Uh, it was a bad decision for this project because obviously Serum Vision's foil is quite valuable and very easy to trade away, especially the first night. Um, so if you do have one of those, trade them away while they're hot because they're not going to be that much hot later. Um, but anyway, I wanted to go over the current deck and how I did. So I put $15 in the deck for Friday Night Magic and went to three different game days. I went to the game day on Saturday and one on Saturday night at around 5 to 6, but ended at like midnight. In all of these game days, there were less than 8 people. And I went to one on Sunday. There were less than 8 people. You could get the promo and just leave, and that's what I did for two of them. So you pay five bucks, you get five bucks in store credit, which I used to buy cards for this deck. And then you get the foil language promo. And then there was that other promo. I still have the other promo, but I immediately traded the foil language promos away. Had I went to four, had I been able to go to four, I might have kept them as a playset. But, you know, for this project, that's not really viable. So uh, this is what I essentially traded $15 in store credit and free language promos uh, and then some other trade stuff I had and this is my current trade binder Grandmaster uh, Battlefield Forge I'm gonna go Boros I'm getting kind of bored playing mono red so I'm gonna go Boros I need two more of these uh, they're very cheap right now which is good uh, waste I just got that as a throw in um, commands and then a few other cards and a feather I feel like it's very very good with uh, dash so I'm kind of trying to make a Rogue Das Boros deck. But the deck I'm going to show you right now is extremely optimized. It is very, in my opinion, pretty good. And we have sleeves. So 20 lands, uh, 20 mountains, no fetch lands because we can't afford those, but whatever. Outposts, um, I would get more than one outpost siege, but obviously. Searing Blood, uh, Roast. I do not have a sideboard. Four Lightning Strikes. And here's the biggest addition where I traded um, a Languish and then store credit to the store for two Edleons of the Great Revel. I, the store credit was like 10 bucks, and then the Languish, they took it in at like a little more than $10. So I got two of these, which is pretty good. And now I have four um, of these cards. And these are the most hard. And I'm not too worried about they're the most cards that is the most difficult to get and I'm not too worried about rotation because I feel like it's fine. Um, Swift Spare, this card has gone up in price since I last got him. I got him for a few dollars back when he first came out. Uh, Goblin Glory Chaser is still doing good work for me. I don't know if it's a one drop I want but it's not bad. Um, obviously Pile Driver would go really well with it but whatever, that's expensive. Um, Lightning Berserker, Stoke, Stoke's gonna rotate out, Slash, uh, Flame Wake Dragon, Phoenix, and then uh, Storm Breath Dragon. Honestly, if Storm Breath rotates out, I would probably just replace him with Flame Wake Phoenix. Uh, Flame Wake is very, very good. Um, it's not the best Phoenix I've ever seen, uh, that being Chandra's Phoenix, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and this is a deck. The deck is, doesn't have a sideboard. Um, I don't want to add Sarkhan. Sarkhan is actually extremely bad in this deck. And yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it is a $30 deck. I don't know why people in the comments get confused about it. I paid $30 in cash for this deck um, and this trade stuff. So the trade stuff, I'd say this is like a dollar to four dollars. Exclusive Fire is not cheap. I <laughs> realized that when I was looking up the prices to trade for it. Uh, waste, these are like 20 bucks. You can go infinite on, or you can get very close to going infinite in physical magic if you have the right promos. Now that being said, should Path to Exile and Serum Visions and then Foil Language not be the promos that I was playing for and that my stores essentially doesn't have even enough people to, um, I mean, get all the free game days I went to had less than eight people. So it's pretty much guaranteed that you, one game day I won $10 in store credit, which is like double and that was like helpful. And then the other game day I, just broke even at five dollars and then the one game day I won stuff but I uh, wasted on the pack <laughs> so yeah <laughs> anyway um, the deck project is thirty dollars in and the deck is looking very good I am going to make it Boros and I'm trying to do it because the deck does rotate I mean storm breaths are gone um, Stokes are gone 
So you're looking at a large part of this deck being pretty much demolished after rotation. So although it's going to win you a lot of games right now, <laughs> Ed Leon's gone, uh, Blaze is gone, and Strike is gone. So we're looking at a huge change coming up, and I'm looking at half the deck essentially rotating out. So I just want to add white to it and make maybe a... Uh, you're looking at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're looking at 18 cards, um, you know, the 40 card main deck that's going to rotate out. And yeah, you can replace it and you can still keep playing mono red, but in my opinion, you can only play so much red deck wins before you get tired of it. Um, so I'm hoping to trade into a Boros build, uh, pretty much with Anna Fezzer, and then Soulfire Grand Master use those two and maybe some other cards the das component um obviously we're going to have to pick up the really annoying uh zergo um he's kind of pricey right now but we probably need a playset of him so yeah that's my idea for the deck and it is 30 dollars in my opinion because that's how much i spent for it including the sleeves so i got the sleeves on store credit bye guys